Siberia, Mother Nature's forgotten child. Russia's frozen land of exile. Home to bitter winds and bitter hearts. Damn them all. Who do you have to screw? I'm rich. I'm genius. I look dashing and expensive for gold. And, oh, I'm not married. How can I not be the most eligible bachelor in the world? Relax, Napoleon. Everything will go exactly as we've planned. <laughs> Don't you see? I cannot relax. I cannot laugh. I cannot smile. I cannot even enjoy my favorite TV show while indulging in the guilty pleasure of a highly salted, deeply fried snack until they're all taken care of. They will be. You bet your beautiful bazookas they will be. Eleven bachelors will get on. Only one bachelor will get off. And the world will never be the same. Spy Groove. File number Toy Bishop 3000-Funnel Cake 40. Codename Cyberberians Express. The Maxi Bar, a full-service filling station pumping super unleaded narcissism into the vanity-powered jet set. <sighs> cool. I'm sorry. Sorry you're not on Blather Magazine's top ten bachelor list. No, sorry you're on it. <laughs> you're sorry for me? Yeah. You've unfortunately contracted a tragic case of terminal cheesiness. You're saying I'm cheesy. There are three symptoms that signal cheesiness on a critical level. One, meaningless public praise. The list. Two, enjoying meaningless public praise. The fact that I'm happy to be on the list. And three, accepting the benefits that accompany meaningless public praise. You mean the invitation I accepted to Napoleon Pushkin's bachelor party this weekend on his high-speed luxury train? No. I mean the cheesy invitation you accepted to the cheesy Napoleon Pushkin's cheesy bachelor party on his cheesy train. Mm. You're jealous. Because you're not invited and you're not on the list. Yeah, right, whatever. Hey, boys. It's Mac. Parental discretion advised. Hey, Mac. Hey, Mac. And make it quick. I'm covering the other waitress. She was just discovered. By a movie director? No, by the bouncer. He caught her sneaking Jay Leno in through the ladies' room window. Yikes. Did he get in? No. His fat ass is still caught in the window. Ooh, double yikes. The usual? Yeah, you got it. Actually, make it milk for me. My stomach's a little upset. The ancient share a conference call on their Swiss Army phones, complete with screwdriver, fish scaler, and plaque-removing hydrosonic dental irrigation system. It's Helena Troy. A woman who's always on top of the situation. Listen up, boys. I've got the lowdown on a certain Russian's loco motives. Pun intended. You bet your train ticket to Napoleon Pushkin's suspicious Siberian stag party. That, what's so suspicious? Russian mega mogul and confirmed celebrity skirt chaser announces wedding to completely unknown mystery woman. Slash bogus bride. Then invites Bladder Magazine's list of top ten bachelors. A list he never made, full of people he publicly hates. To be captive guests on his brand new mega deluxe transcontinental choo-choo train, the Siberian Red Fox. Sounds like a load of bull. Bolshevik to me. Oh, child, please, that's nothing. Listen to this. Yeah? This is a device that was recently stolen from the super-secret Siberian Neophysics Laboratory, hmm. which just happens to be across the street from the super-secret train yard where Pushkin parks his train. Hmm, the device. The extremely dangerous handheld reverse magnetic linear propulsion device. Hmm. If magnetic linear propulsion allows modern high-speed trains to reach their high speeds and remain on track, yes. a reverse magnetic linear propulsion device would cause a train to derail. Bingo! Killing the world's top ten bats. Hmm. Does that sound suspicious? Bachelor number 10. Well, thank you both for turning a cigar-smoking, babe-filled, no-holds-barred boys' night out into just another ho-hum, work-a-day, life-threatening mission. Don't thank us. Thank Napoleon Pushkin. Okay, now, everybody on board? Yes, yes. Good. And boys, keep yourselves in that freak train on track, okay? In Siberia, adorable royal princes, well-chiseled business titans, Hollywood power honks, and agent number two anticipate the arrival of the Siberian Red Fox. Mindy, clue me here. Yeah, just checking in. Welcome to Siberia! And the biggest bachelor party ever! Tomorrow morning, I will reveal my bride-to-be. And you will witness a reunion as we pull into Moscow Station. But for tonight, let us eat! Drink and be unmarried! Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen, meet your personal hostesses for the trip. And let me tell you, it will be one hell of a trip. Hello, George. I'm Kasha. Hello, Your Highness. I'm Masha. Hello there. I'm Tasha. I'm eligible. Oh, you know, the last time I was in Siberia, I was with Cuba Gooding Jr. and the Judds. And we were cross-country skiing for charity. Cross-country skiing? I love cross-country skiing. When I was young, I used to cross-country ski with my dear old grandpapa. 
hijo de mi papi. The Siberian Red Fox is now departing the station. Oh. 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 <laughs> the Red Fox is now traveling at its maximum safe speed of 300 miles per hour. May I? Kiss me? Ask the name of your perfume. It's... Uh... Sexual beyond words? Oh, <laughs> well... Yeah. No, it's actually called sexual beyond words. I will leave you now, so you may change into something more comfortable. You'll be back soon? Very soon, with refreshments. Oh, don't be out of here! <laughs> this is all your fault, you cheesy bastard. I didn't ask to be on that list. Do you ask to get a cold? No. Cheesiness is like a viral infection. It picks you. You don't pick it. Mm. Couldn't you have gotten rid of her a little sooner, seeing as I was trapped inside of a trunk? Oh, she's very distracting. Clearly. And we were on a mission. Just get out of here and do whatever you have to do. I'll check out the train. I guess I have no other choice but to check out the party. I guess I get stuck with the gravity jet. Uh, I guess there's an upside to being on a cheesy list. Uh, I guess cheesy See people. you in the morning. If anything goes wrong... I'll use the emergency brake to stop the train. Mm. Or not. Use your watchy-talkie. Agent number one stealthily searches the Red Fox with the help of his Sketcher magnetic knee pads and mittens. Available in plum, key lime, and casual denim. Mm. Mm. Oh, lucky, cheesy-ass sons of bitches. No emergency brakes, a getaway pod, and... The extremely dangerous and now reverse magnetic linear propulsion device. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh my god. Sierra. Oh my god. A tunnel. <laughs>